Hey, yeah, what's up, y'all? This is Nascan from Boston Celtics, and I just want to introduce a new podcast called This Is the Awkward Side Hug. So go check it out. Appreciate y'all. What's up? My name's Lex. That's Brian. And uh, that's Steven. <laughs> <laughs> and. This and is the awkward side hug. There it is. There it is. That's, it's coming through. That's, all, that's exactly how I imagined it. Yeah. <laughs> There's like a bunch of boxes on each each row, and we just like knocked over all of them. On the and, uh, <laughs> wait, wait. We, wait, we did not wait the four seconds. Yeah. <laughs> we did not introduce ourselves. <laughs> uh, so for you, for you listening, we had a game plan um, of how we were going to intro ourselves because um, we got a soundboard. And so um, it's a little bit of a challenge the first time around, but uh, bear with us. And, and, and we're going audio now. It, it'll get better. Yeah, we're going to audio. Brian, let them know. You're the one that set it up. Let them know. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, but now we're officially at least on Apple Podcasts. Uh, so this episode will probably be the first actual Awkward Side Hug episode. We do have the William Hung interview on there as well. Yes, for sure. Uh, for so people who are... are go ahead. Say, for people who use Spotify, I'm still figuring that out. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are still in the dark for now, sorry. <laughs> yeah. You know what, though? Does it charge you for podcasts? I don't think it charges you for podcasts on Spotify? Apple. No, for Apple. For no, Apple. I think you could just listen. I'm so sure. there's no excuses. Well, people don't have iPhones sometimes. So. <laughs> 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 sorry. See Stevie, no excuses, G. <laughs> oh, you got an Android? My bad. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that's fire. But yeah, so yeah, we have we have a a, f- a couple things to talk about. Um, I think this is probably the second episode in a row where we forgot to ask the fourth mic questions. But uh, but I'll I'll drop a, a a video explaining what the fourth mic is again to our, to our new followers. So first of all, shouts out to our new followers. If uh, if you saw this link this new episode drop right now and uh and you clicked on it thank you and welcome uh the quest to 300 mm-hmm. quest to 300 yeah hashtag Imani. um <clears throat> but uh <laughs> yeah steven since you're a sociology major i wanted to ask you a quick question that i found on the internet uh would you rather eat a goat or a matter baby what's a matter baby yeah I was... nothing what's the matter with you baby Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 man. I thought Watch I was going to <laughs> I was like, I, don't know what, I, I jumped in. I was like, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. I threw a grenade towards Steven, and Brian was like, oh, I'll jump on. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you, Brian. I appreciate, <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Is that like a Matterhorn? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I was really man. concerned. Like, you know what? I gotta clear something up here. <laughs> I don't. Want, I don't want my boy Steven looking looking yeah. dumb. Maybe our video, maybe our listeners know what matter matter baby is. I was like, so far the so, intro and the opening question like went a lot better than I could have ever hoped. <laughs> yeah, so, so it's funny. It's funny because somebody asked me for help with sociology stuff right yesterday like, night. Oh. Yeah, recently, yesterday, and I had no freaking clue. No, like they are like, oh, what do you th- like? Well, what do you think of this question? And then they answer, you know, it was like a theory question. And I was like, shit. Well, what, what Remember, I, was it something you forgot or something you've never heard of before? No, it's something I forgot. Oh, so. uh, well, one of the things too, that I've noticed is when people ask me something about history and I'm like, dude, like, I don't, I don't <laughs> history. know, I, I don't know <laughs> everything. I don't know everything. <laughs> like, how am I supposed to know that? You're like, oh, you're a fan of history? Uh, name everything that's ever happened. <laughs> Lex knows everything about English, though, so. <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh, oh, man. Wild. There's no segue there, but. Uh, yeah, yeah. We want to get so, to the first topic? Yeah, we have some grievances with the world yeah. lately, so. Um, <laughs> Is it we or me? <laughs> uh, I'll, Brian I'll, has. Oh, Brian good, has good, good. I, I just don't want to be the only one that has complaints, you know? <laughs> so we're, we're going to talk about bullies, and we feel like. Uh, Whoa, wait, what? We're talking about... Oh, <laughs> uh, we're talking about Subway. Yeah. Oh, no, we're going to get into Subway in a little bit. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, we're going to start off with some bullies, and we feel like some of the biggest bullies... This is bully season, apparently. Uh, when you're trying to go to the grocery store, and Girl Scout cookie sells 
Girl Scouts. I don't know what, what, what they call them. Uh, they bully you into buying Girl Scout cookies, right? <laughs> right yes. <laughs> so I remember Stephen bringing this to our attention earlier this week. And I was like, yeah, dude, that happens. Like, especially when you could go to a grocery store and, you know, when you're trying to get through all the people panicking about water or whatever. And, and yeah. And so, okay. So the, I'm just going to tell you what I was, I went in there for two things, right? I needed um, cilantro and then um, bread. I think it was bread, a loaf of bread. Right. So I'm, I'm thinking, I'm just going to go in there, come out, like I'm done. I go in there. Right. And then when I come out, you know, they ask, Oh, do you want to buy any Girl Scout cookies? And I tell them like, Oh no, I don't have any cash. Sorry. They're like, Oh, we take card. I was like, Oh, um, <laughs> I'm 20, 20, man. You can't use that excuse anymore. <laughs> right. Like at least a homeless guy, you can say, I don't have cash and they yeah, yeah. walk away. But like with Girl Scouts, I mean, they jump right on you, man. Like I felt like pressured. And then like, they're all dressed up in their uniform and it's like, oh man, like I'm gonna tell this little girl no, but like they they bully you, dude. Like, <laughs> no, Stephen I, comes home with bread, cilantro, and like 20 packs of uh, Girl Scout cookies. Right. So, like, so they have a. They usually station themselves in the entrance or whatever. But right. Usually, like, grocery stores have like two entrances usually. Right. So I always I'll park on the side next to where they're stationed, but then I will walk around and go to the <laughs> other one, and then when I leave, I come out this one as well. But recently what happened is they were stationed here. I went to this one. And by the time I came back out, they were now restationed over here. And then I had to, and I didn't see them on my way out until I had to talk to them. And I'm like, nah, I'm, I'm okay. Like, Ghost Cut Cookies are good, but I'm not willing to spend a bunch of money. You know what? Uh, hot take. I don't like Girl Scout cookies. And I'm like the biggest fan of junk food. But yeah. is it like there's no Girl Scout cookie that you like? Yeah, I haven't found a flavor that I was like, you know what? I, that's worth what, buying. Like, I've never have, purchased Girl Scout cookies what have you, for myself. What, oh, okay. What have you eaten so far? Like, what flavor? Uh, I've tried, well, because I hate, like, chocolate mint in general, like, anything mint. So, like, I'm not even going to try that. Shout like, out I, to my boy. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a big mint person either. Yeah, yeah. I don't do chocolate and mint. Oh, good. All right, cool. The, um, only, the only mint thing I'll eat is maybe a York peppermint patty because mm-hmm. those are pretty good. Oh, sorry, sorry, I messed up the vibe. <laughs> you're, you're good. You know, that's that's interesting. That's interesting. White, white people. <laughs> uh, but I've tried the peanut butter one. I'm like, ah, it's not like the best peanut butter thing I've ever tasted. It's, and I've tried like, I, I think I've even tried the Samoas one, which everyone says like the Samoas cookies are like the best Girl, Girl Scout I like cookies. That one. And yeah, it does like I haven't, I don't know, I haven't found a flavor I liked at all, like to the point where it's worth it for me to buy. So you hear that you hear that fourth mic. If you have a kid in Girl Scouts, um, get Lex a box of cookies. Try <laughs> to change his mind. Because once you get Lex on your side, he'll buy every every box yeah. that you have. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So once true. you once you convince him to to be on your side, he'll buy a good five to ten boxes. Yeah, because so. yeah, I, I like Samoas and there's like a lemon one I like, and then I do like the peanut butter one, but I'm not willing to. Like, I don't go to the grocery store with the with the mindset that I need to go buy some Girl Scout girl, girl cookies. So. For them to corner you in an alley. <laughs> they pull out the shank like, <laughs> yeah. like a Swiss army knife with like a bunch of other different things. <laughs> yeah. They kick Brian in the shin or what? <laughs> <laughs> like, ah, shit. Not true. I, I sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, we have some other uh, grievances, I guess. But yeah, and I thought this was, this was just you two guys. Uh, Steven was the most recent grievance with Subway. But I've had, like, the most intense grievance with Subway. I, re- I just remembered right now. Oh, in Arizona, right? In Arizona, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what happened? Before we get into all that, what happened to Steven recently? What, what happened to you? Okay, so I get an hour lunch, right? So I'm thinking I'm just going to roll into the – and this is, like, our childhood Subway. So, mm-hmm. you know, like I have a, a special bond connection with this subway because Brian and I literally after school, when we were in junior high, like every single day would go to the subway after school and hang out there for like five to five, you know, five, six hours after we got out of school and just talk to the workers. And at the time, the workers were cool. Now we were so like now that I'm an adult, I realize how much, how bad, like, we weren't terrible, because it's not like we ruined the job, we didn't, like, leave trash or do anything like that, it's just, like, but now that I think about it, we were probably so annoying, you know, some of them kind of like this, but some of them did not, and I was, like, now that I think about it, like, if I was in their situation, and then just a bunch of middle schoolers came in, and just was 
douchebags yeah, yeah, all day. Yeah. yeah, now I see middle schoolers and I'm like, shit, dude, no, not these kids over here. <laughs> you say <laughs> three sixty roundhouse kick. <laughs> so, so, so okay, so um, on an hour lunch, I go in there, right? The line's not too long. There's maybe like two people in front of me, but it takes me about twenty minutes before someone asks me, "Hey, what can I get for you today?" Right? And so. I tell them, God damn, dude, somebody's fucking drag racing that guy here on the street. It's like Creed, the first movie of Creed. Like. So, <laughs> the bikes. So, so, you know, they, I tell them what I want, right? And they, first she says, you know, okay, like I, I asked for an oven roasted chicken, right? And I always get a, I get the same thing mostly all the time. I get a oven roasted chicken deluxe, right? So it's, you know, the two full meat patties, then they cut you know, the third patty in half and put one on each side, right? Are you guys familiar with that? No, but no? Sure. But are you familiar with the deluxe? Yes. Okay. So anyways, it's a deluxe, deluxe version of this sandwich. And so she, I ask her, can I make it a deluxe? And she tells me, oh, it only comes with one more patty. You'll have to get double meat. You can't do a deluxe. And I was like, like in my head, like, really? Like, I don't want two meats. I just want you to give me a deluxe. <laughs> and so I tell her, are you sure? Because I always get a deluxe and they just cut the third meat in half. And so she gives me a dirty look. So that's probably like what started it. <laughs> so then, you know, she, she puts the meat on there, puts the cheese. Then I get sent to the veggie section, right? So now I'm in the veggie section and the lady behind me, you know, gets a freaking like veggie delight, right? So no meat. And her sandwich passes me up in line. Right. And so I'm just standing there waiting. Then, you know, the old lady behind her, her sandwich passes me in line. And they're, so these people are getting their sandwich made and getting paid for and out the door. Right. So two people go by me. And then one of the ladies comes and says, Oh, whose sandwich is this? Right. So I tell her, like, that's my sandwich. And I've been waiting. There's been two people that got, you know, served and paid before me. And nobody's even asked me, like, what I want on my sandwich. So, like she, you know, sees that I'm frustrated. Obviously, I said all this not in a nice way, but not in a super rude way because I used to work fast food. So, you know, I try to do my best not to get mad. But sometimes it's just kind of like common sense, right? There's a sandwich on the counter and nobody's paying attention to it. So anyways, I'm about to, and this whole time I'm texting Brian and Lex, right? We're in our group chat. I'm texting them like I'm, I'm about to lose it right now. And so Brian puts, yeah, I hate, I hate it when you go to Subway and... I don't something about the tomatoes just looking really (laughs) so because I'm a very veggie person right so like I like to get all the veggies on my subway on my sandwich and when you get then the tomatoes add a different flavor than the rest of them right you need that tomato flavor the crunch too but sometimes you get there and the tomatoes look like They've been dead for like like <laughs> like the, the tomatoes got coronavirus or something. <laughs> they've been, they're like some of them are like greenish and off white. Sometimes right. I can handle pink. I can hand. I, I prefer red. But like when it's at that whitish, greenish, off, like it's like they have a cold look. It's just like uh. And then <laughs> I, so, but sometimes I get it anyways, and I it's like a mental thing because I'm sure they don't taste any different. It's just no, they do because sometimes they're soggy yeah like this really like mushy the te- so it's not all about the taste it's the texture as well right you know? so, so i texted you that and did it happen to you then as well and so like i look at, as soon as i read brian's text i look at the tomatoes and they just look freaking depressed dude like <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't so, happen to any of the, any of the other veggies sometimes the lettuce right. can be a little like eh, but it's whatever but Luck- all the luck- other veggies are good yes <laughs> D- depressed luckily, tomatoes luckily <laughs> Like the tomatoes failed a midterm or something, dude. So <laughs> l- luckily, luckily there was a second thing of tomatoes. So I told the lady, I said, oh, I want those tomatoes. So this is the kicker. This is where it gets good, right? This is where it gets amazing. So she says, do you want anything else on your sandwich? And so, you know, I want, yeah, can I get mayo, please? She puts mayo on there. Anything else? I said, yeah, can I get mustard? She pulls, it, she pulls out the oil, right? The little canister of oil. She's about to put it on. I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> can I get mustard? so she goes oh she puts that down she grabs the vinegar right the red vinegar and she's about to put it on no 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 (laughs) can i get mustard and she looks at me with this blank stare and i just like had enough already and i said you know what never mind it's good the way it is (laughs) 
and, and so, you know, she wraps it up. I pay for it. I ended up eating it there, right? Because I didn't want to go back to work. I just wanted to eat. I wanted to just get my sandwich, eat in a nostalgic, you know, place that was part of my childhood, enjoy my lunch, and then go back to work. And so it was a very... Maybe that was karma. <laughs> yeah. And that's what, I, th- and that's what uh, I was thinking the whole time. And I used some choice words in the group chat that, you know, <laughs> I can't say, I can't say, <laughs> you know, live. Yeah. So. Well, but, I was, I was I, we're, we're doing Yelp reviews on, on the podcast now. Like, Cause I, I'm one of those people too. Like, even though if I have, a, I don't know, maybe Steven's different or, but if I have a bad experience somewhere, I, I'm still not going to Yelp review it. Mm-hmm. Cause I'm just like one of those people who like, I don't know, like, there's enough people probably talking crap about an establishment that doesn't need it. So, but like, I don't know. So like, this is, this is a good place to vent, I guess. So, okay. And I don't know why it's me, but this is another good story. Okay. So that, that subway was in Chino. This subway is in Corona, right? Um, For you that don't know, I'm living Corona, coronavirus, all that good stuff. (laughs) So, so I go to the subway and I don't know if you've ever seen the coupon, but you buy a six inch sub and a, medium drink you get a six inch sub for free have you seen those so, so it's before? basically a foot long exactly so i go to oh, the subway here i get i ask you know to make it easy i'd say can i just get a foot long oven roasted chicken right that way they're making my sandwich and then i just pay you know for a six inch and a, and a drink so i get to the end and i give her the coupon and she looks at it and she looks at me and she says oh but you got a foot long and i was like like at first I was like, are you serious? Like, <laughs> and then I, then I had to explain to her, I said, no, like I, I just, you know, ask for a foot long. That way you can make the whole sandwich the same. And then usually they just charge me for a six inch and a, a drink. And then, you know, the second six inch is free. And she's like, Oh, I don't know if I can do that. I don't want to get in trouble. And I was like, why would you, I, and I told her, I said, why would you get in trouble? Like, that's how you're going to charge it. Like, that's what it is. <laughs> that's, how, that's how maps work. <laughs> You right and then, gun, that's how you're gonna charge it <laughs> and, so, and so she looks at me and she goes oh like i'm sorry i just i really don't want to get in trouble and i tell her okay how about this how about you cut it how about you wrap it in two different things so i have two six yeah. inches and a drink and then so like then she goes you know what like let me get my you know whoever the shift lead was so the shift lead comes right <laughs> and the shift lead was on her break so she's like out in the, the lobby like eating her lunch or whatever so the shift lead comes and then i explained to her look at i have this coupon i ordered a six, uh, foot long because i just wanted the sandwich to be the same but usually they charge me for the six inch and the and the drink and she goes oh okay and so she does it and i was so heated that i sent an email to the district manager and i like it was a, like a nice good lengthy yeah. email and so he and i thought he would respond to me and say hey like yeah here's a free meal on us or something yeah but to make it worse, he just says, "Oh, like I'm sorry. I'll see what the issue what the issue was." Like, yeah. So I've never gone back to that subway ever. He, he probably didn't. Ever. He probably didn't follow up. Is that the one that's right next <laughs> to the to the 15? When you're no, no, your it's house? Not, no, no, okay. it's not that one. It's not that one. That one's a 24 hour subway too. Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, "Hey, you're getting a little close to my address here. You know, you don't want to." <laughs> <laughs> There's a. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes 24 hour subways hit different too. Like you're just like right. You, you know that they're that's like eh, like you're like you know this guy's probably half asleep. One time I had a drunk guy make my my sandwich. I think he just went to a bar and then started his shift. <laughs> and, he, and he was absolutely like trash while he's making my sandwich. He's cutting it all off. And but I think the experience was so good though that I just allowed it to happen. Right. You know what else his difference? Uh freaking like Arizona subways that aren't meant to be like around civilization or like in cities where like <laughs> there's like a population of more more than five hundred people. So I think all fast food establishments in, in Arizona are a little off because they reached oh, yeah. the fries. Like we had a Courts on McDonald's, piece. yeah. But let's let's go into the subway story with Lex because Lex was. I'll admit, I forgot I even had a subway story. I was heated so, though, in general. Yeah, dude, you were heated. I thought you were about to throw hands with the freaking cashier, dude. dude well, because like we went to the the Royal Rumble event WWE in Arizona. This was the first event thrown at the baseball stadium for the Diamondbacks baseball stadium uh, all summer or something like that, or like the first event since they were on their off season. Yeah. So they didn't really prepare for like how many people were going to attend the Royal Rumble, which was a lot. And so they ran out of food like halfway through the Royal Rumble event. So I remember like, um, I didn't really find out until like kind of like three quarters in. I was like, you know, what? I'm, I'm getting hungry again. I'm going to go get some food. 
So I go to the, all the concession stands and they, and they basically all said, Oh, like all of our stands are out of food. I'm like, shit. And I'm like freaking starving. Right. And I get to the point where like, if I'm starving, I'm like, Oh man, I start getting the shakes. And then like, I get like this. <laughs> so, like if I don't eat after the shakes, I get pissed. So then all of a sudden I find like this adrenaline anger. So we finally, like the Royal Rumble is a long event and just to make matters worse, uh, Brian <laughs> decided to have us be there like three hours early because <laughs> he forgot to account for the, uh, the time Sometimes. change in Arizona. Yeah. <laughs> so we're, we're literally there like all day and I've eaten like nothing. So we get into the car. It's time for us to go home. We're just going to go straight home back to Southern California from Arizona. And so I'm like, okay, I, I just need like the nearest McDonald's drive through. Right. Just so I could like eat. And these guys are talking about like, Oh, we should at least get like an hour out so, and then we'll eat there. So, like and then so I'm like, yeah, no, I need, yeah. I need food now. Yeah, and, just, and then uh, and these okay, these two would not budge. So this is what like pissed me off is like these guys refuse to budge, and so like you know I'm I haven't eaten all day. I'm, I'm like pissed off. So I'm like, oh well, like I would stop for you guys. Like I, I just like you know I, I got in my feelings because I was like, dude, like this is bullshit. You know, what I mean? like, your your honor, your honor. Can I just can I just explain to you why we just wanted to just travel twenty more minutes down the road? They just wanted to because the traffic to get out of yeah the, the traffic, traffic was just and out of Arizona. freaking horrible. But I, I get like I didn't know that Lex didn't eat. Like I thought you know yeah we I thought we were some... I thought he was just moderately hungry. Yeah yeah right? I didn't know yeah, he was right. just starving. So that, that's what made it worse is that these guys are probably like, dude, what the hell's going on with Lex? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, can, can, can you wait an extra 20 minutes? Like, that's <laughs> yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. we just wanted to go to Buckeye, which is just outside of town. Right. Yeah, so we, we met, we met like in the middle closer to, to, to my like uh, dilemma because we, we, we only got out of at least like the, the general stadium traffic. Mm-hmm. And we, we, we got onto the freeway and then we, we stopped at the, the first like food, like uh, advertisement we saw. So it ended up being a subway. And I forgot this was a subway experience. So, so it's, a, it's, a, it's a Carl's Jr. subway and a gas station all in one. Yes. So we all drop off. We agree for subway. I'm like first in line. They're like, go ahead, blah, blah. Like you're, you're like starving, about to die. And uh, so I'm just like, you know, I'm just tired. I'm hungry and I'm weak. And so like I go up to the thing and I'm like, like I really only get like meatball, like subway, like subs or whatever at subway nowadays, especially since like Ike's is like, like the goat uh, sandwich spot. But uh, so I get up there. I'm like, oh, can I get a, like a six inch on wheat, uh, like meatballs? And then she was like, oh, I'm sorry. We're out of meatballs. And I was like, fuck. He didn't think that. He literally did that. <laughs> and, and I then, just walked to Carl Jr. He didn't even apologize. He just walked away. And then <laughs> me and Steven were now stuck there. Have no <laughs> he, he yelled in the direction of the poor girl, too. I think she was like newer, too. Like cause she looked kind of panicked. And yeah, he yeah. just. He, she's just like oh i'm sorry we don't have meatballs and he just said fuck and then he's like i'm good and then he just walked away <laughs> I, I didn't realize that i left brian and steven with that situation <laughs> like they had to like console her and shit we're like, hey, we're sorry but can i get a foot long <laughs> so <laughs> oh man so yeah subway's uh that's the same weekend that i i, I dunked on somebody Oh, the, that was the dunk on the midget story. That's where you. That's where you. Time. You danced to Drake. Yeah, and yeah. you you dunked on the midget. You got that's, lit. So <laughs> that's the same weekend where the, you remember those like nasty colored vodka shots that the ladies would walk around. Oh yeah, yeah. We just, we just said we're gonna take all of them. It was a it was a Fat <laughs> Tuesday. Remember, it was the at the shot ones. Yeah, yeah. At, uh, it was at the Fat Tuesday. So they were they're, they're like a dollar or two dollars each or something, mm-hmm. and we we're just like, yeah, we'll just take them all. Yeah, yeah. and there's because there's like, there someone bought them for all of us, and yeah. we we're like, we don't want this, so like we gave them all to Brian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good time. Good time. Right. Times indeed. But yeah, so that's our stubway stubway stuff. <laughs> Still way. Uh, but yeah, since we mentioned coronavirus a lot, that's that's a thing that's that's in our in 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 the world lately. <laughs> that's that's the word right there. Yeah, the word. So on a scale of one to that's ten, the thing is coronavirus, we're completely okay. <laughs> Are we doing our Trump impressions? <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. It was. I'm racist. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, whip yours out, Stephen. <laughs> whip you, you want me to whip it out right now, or what? He, he unzips. We're like, no, no, no. Nah. But, uh, but yeah. So coronavirus. Um, no, 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 hold on, Stephen. Do you oh, yeah, Trump Stephen, go ahead, go ahead. 
I don't I don't have a Trump uh, impression. Just do it, just do it. <laughs> just do we, it. we did Bernie off the hip. We could do Trump. <laughs> Let's go off the hip. We are going to stop China. We lost China, but ends up doing the best one. <laughs> I, be, I became a Republican in the last week. So. Yeah. You've been practicing? Oh, man, that's wild. I've been practicing. <clears throat> I gotta, you know, I gotta be able to hang out with my father-in-law in the backyard. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that's wild, dude. Um, so you know, it, I, just real quick, I think he listens to these sometimes. So yeah. hopefully, he doesn't listen to that one. Right? Uh, shouts out to the homie, man. He's uh, yeah. he sh- he showed Lex how to throw a curveball. Yeah, dude. Hey, man. Like when when I was in uh like little league, I remember uh. I played catch with him and i've always heard the stories of, of him like uh playing baseball but i remember when i played catch with him it was nice enough like hey let's, let's toss around okay cool and so like you know like i was like warming up and dude off the first like pitch like every single pitch like bruised up my palm and like he threw this curveball that was super nasty every time i was like wow so he's he's legit man he's the truth <laughs> speaking of sports let's talk about how coronavirus affects me the most <laughs> um <laughs> The NBA put out letters that they're they're possibly considering empty arena games. Yep, mm-hmm. uh, that's stupid. It's gonna, it's gonna look like The Rock versus Mankind. <laughs> it, 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 Italy, Italy is already doing empty stadium For soccer, soccer matches nice. um, up until April third. WrestleMania is in jeopardy as well. I don't know if it'd be canceled or it'd be happening. They're considering it. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know if there'd be empty stadium for that as well. Why do you think it's stupid, Stephen? <sighs> Hold on. Go ahead and tell me your your first. Go with yours, and then I'll tell I'll you right now. I don't so, think I don't think it's stupid. I just think it's a, it's going to be very costly. But that's about it. Yeah. No. I would say so. It sucks, obviously, to the people affected, the families affected. Like it's always like a tragedy. Um, but uh, I was looking at the numbers and stuff, and a a, a few people, like kind of like day by day, I've noticed are are bringing up the the other side of like, well, maybe the media is over exaggerating it right so obviously it's out there it's it's spreading like the flu right mm-hmm. and uh the toll right now as of right now is like a hundred thousand uh infected have mm-hmm. been infected by it but only about four thousand uh it's only actually under four thousand have uh passed away from it so that's literally less than four percent of all people infected in the world mm-hmm. have passed away from it whereas the numbers we keep seeing on the media is like oh officially one person dead in the u.s officially two people officially five or something like that right now <clears throat> i think as of this recording i think it's up to 14 in the u.s yeah yeah but right. a ma- so, majority a majority of them are old people that's the thing so a majority of the less than four percent who have passed away um are mainly like in, in the the elder range and mm-hmm. most of, like the younger people who are passing away they also have something else wrong with them and so it's crazy because it's it, it's Again, tragic, obviously, for the people who right. are affected by it. But like the whole grocery store is like everyone's clearing out the water, and it's like I think the media um, and social media are are might be like a a factor of this. Of as as like it's kind of like a, a global scare because of that. But um, I, I right. feel I feel uh, for example, like when it comes to the actual illness, I'm not too concerned. Uh, I do need to do a better job with my immune system, uh, but still, I think I'm okay. Uh, this, isn't, but, this isn't the personal part of the podcast, Brian. <laughs> my immune system needs to be better. With the- <laughs> Just, uh, okay, but like, uh, I'll be it. Like, I'm concerned maybe like for my parents because they're over 60. I'm, I'm concerned for my grandparents because they're a lot older than that. Uh, so like if it were to be... We all got to go one day. No, I'm okay. <laughs> so if it goes, okay so if it goes within like if it was within like a region of them i'd probably be like hey don't leave your house kind of thing uh but like uh like yeah the, the most concerning part of it to me is like you know other people are freaking out it's not mm-hmm. really like i'm freaking out but the thing is like i do feel like maybe i should stock up on some water and some food just in case because other let people, me let me ask you this other people are doing it like Go for it. Why, why are you going to stock up on this stuff now for a coronavirus, but you won't make an earthquake kit? Well, you know, I was going like, to say that because I, I was talking to some people about it. And I was or why like, don't you just have an emergency kit in general, you know? 
Well, I was going to say, like, uh, uh, I was going to make that point, too, where I was like, even though, like, even if this turns out to be nothing, we should still be doing that stuff for earthquakes anyways. Right. And uh, especially in our region. Uh, Brian, the Brian's, is, the guy with, Brian's the guy with five pallets of water? Or what? <laughs> well, I, I was going to make the point, though, too. Like, just because you save some water, or you have a first aid kit or some cans of food doesn't mean, like, if you were, for whatever reason, out of electricity and you couldn't move anywhere, like, I'm not saying it's a walking dead situation, but it's, like, the point where, like, you can't go anywhere and like just having a couple cases of water is not going to save you save your life like eventually you're going to have to get more so, i've been distracted this whole time by, by brian's sexiness i don't know why like the, <laughs> the LAFC jersey and the tattoos i'm like because he finally he finally combed over his hair <laughs> yeah, <it's all> the- <laughs> so, like, to me to me it's not the it's not the virus itself that's concerning me it's the panic that other people are having and it's also making me like you know what maybe i should suck off because what if for whatever reason in the next few weeks it's just like target just hits you up or the grocery store say you know what we're just not going to have water anymore you know and then because we just can't filter it out you know what i mean it's just stuff like that like get a get a brito system or something that's pretty funny because because like you know like if people are constantly buying it and for it's like simple economics like if the supply is high or the demand's high but the supply is not there then we could be asked out ourselves if we don't at least try to somewhat keep up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so, um, <laughs> so is that, is that your advice? I don't know. Just like, I would say keep up. And then if you feel like, if it makes you feel better, yeah, buy a jug of water. Those like huge ones that you get at like Winko or something. People be eating ass and they're worried about the coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> is that how um, it wash your damn hands anyway so back to the sporting thing real quick just to throw that on there it would be dumb to have no audience and attendance you're going to lose a bunch of money i think that's more pr than anything <clears throat> and obviously yeah, but... italy's different italy's different because there's a lot more cases in italy yeah but okay, for example, WrestleMania though, there's already been reported a case in the Tampa Bay region, mm-hmm. and people fly internationally to this event. Mm-hmm. Like I understand why you might not cancel the Clippers versus Lakers, or you might not cancel the Milwaukee Bucks game, sure. But like WrestleMania, is, I think it is a special case because it's an international. Well, people, event. yeah, I was gonna say people come from all over the world, and the the Arnold Classic is canceled except for like the high, like the most important, highest competitions like that. They're gonna still hold that one, but right. every like division below that's been canceled, and the whole event's been canceled or something like that. Like the, right, the as expo. far as like the, the the general public spectacle of is it. That, is that golf? I don't. It's bodybuilding. <laughs> it's bodybuilding. Yeah. Um, I was thinking Arnold Palmer. <laughs> Arnold Palmer classic. Palmer classic. <laughs> the Arnold Palmer classic. <laughs> yeah, I swallowed it. It sounds like I swallowed the fucking Arnold Palmer. <laughs> this is a new podcast. Not the guy, but I this is off for side hug. <laughs> I, I, think, uh, I think you need to hide your kids. Hide your wife. Yeah, I think we need to I think I think we need to wrap just, up so we could go buy a case of the water, dude. I'm just saying, right? Uh, anyway. no, but we got some uh, we have some fantasy sports coming up. We have the the awkward side hug leagues. You want to tell them a little bit about that, Brian? So I've been kind of like, we're in a weird way, like working all together in terms of like the awkward side hug, but we kind of uh, deviate in terms of like what we want to focus on. And I've been really passionate about awkward side hug fantasy sports because I do want to do football in the fall, but I feel like we should build to that. And because obviously I don't think we're going to, but the thing is like XFL was a failure. Uh, <laughs> yeah. but, uh, that was just because of the website the website was horrible so yeah. we did mls and we actually got a few people interested in mm-hmm. joining from our community but just to make the league it's full we actually had to open it up to the public so we have like five people in the league who we don't know so hopefully they start following us too right right like the thing is we can't communicate with them so i don't know <laughs> i don't know how maybe i could put in the league title follow us at the awkward side hug or something <laughs> right uh and then change it back um we're also going to do some fantasy baseball and we're going to do some March Madness. Uh, and that's pretty simple because even if you know nothing, you can just go based off the seeds and pick who you think is going to win and stuff like that. And I've noticed that people who just pick randomly sometimes do the best because when you overthink yeah. on those things, 
like for example when you overthink on fantasy football sometimes you you make mistakes so yeah. we're hoping be- we're hoping to and i don't know how brian wants to do it if it's going to be their brackets versus ours or just you know best bracket wins but we'd cool. like to get the winner on with us right that'd you be know. great yeah oh, so i'm thinking of opening it up uh i will probably create it's kind of like fantasy football like you create like a thing people insert their their bracket mm-hmm. i would like to have a crap ton of people in it but it might end That'd up be great just, it might just end up being a few of us and i'm actually thinking about doing our individual ones and then we'll have maybe uh the awkward side hug us three coming together to pick it and then we will even compete against that one. Oh, that'd be pretty cool and so um yeah and then uh do you have any are, we, are you working on anything lex no <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah, we're going to work on getting some uh, some video game content out there for Awkward Side Hug as well. We mainly play Fortnite, but uh, we'll, we'll try. Lex, to Lex plays Fortnite. I'll try to get some Call of Duty. Call of Duty, yeah. Uh, uh, I have the Pokemon game. Um, hmm. But, yeah, so we'll, uh, we're trying to – we're going to get the different uh, avenues out there as well. My we'll goal, play. if uh, EA Sports opens up uh, cross-platform, for us to be playing Madden and FIFA and stuff against each other in the fall. That'd be sick. Uh, I don't know if they'll start. Because they were considering it for the last year, so maybe they'll start doing it for this one. Mm-hmm. And then we all just need to buy FIFA, maybe buy some Madden. And host, then, some, host a Can Classic. Yes, sir. I believe that was it. All right. That was awkward. Awkward. Wave, wave again, Steven. <laughs> that is good. That's, a, that's great audio content. <laughs> yeah. right. For our audio listeners. Listeners. <laughs> right. uh, Steven wave, waved really cute. Dude, just stop, dude. Dude, I know. I'm having, I'm having like a slow motion stroke, dude. Again, yeah, dude. Uh, half half your face is numb right me. now, dude. <laughs> yeah, All right. Peace out. Bye, guys.